Welcome to the State Television Company, Western Armenia. Broadcast for today. Abdul Hamid's plan against the Armenian people in Western Armenia. President Armena Gabrahamian. Consort in France dedicated to the future of Western Armenia and the Armenian people. The worship of Goddess Nane in the Armenian Highlands. A prayer was offered at the Tzirna Gabert Memorial Complex and the Yerablu Military Pantheon. People have to use the water of Tzav River. Arman Tatoyan. The winners of the 2024 Hrant Ding Prize are known. Akhtamar, not Akhtamar. It is important to understand that despite the genocide of the Armenian people in Western Armenia, Armenians lived in those lands a long time ago, even before Abdul Hamid's plan. Abdul Hamid II formed special groups which were called Hamidian Squads with the aim of exterminating the Armenians. This was his plan which aimed to eliminate the presence of Armenians in Western Armenia. Because of Abdul Hamid, Western Armenia started to be called Anatolia. This fact should be taken into account, especially for those people who today claim that our country or state is Anatolia or Turkey. They don't take into account that the Armenian state was recognized in 1920. The Treaty of Severus was signed on 10 August 1920. This treaty was important because it officially recognized the independence of Armenia and defined its territorial integrity, the successor of which is the state of Western Armenia. Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, the President of the National Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. A concert took place dedicated to the future of Western Armenia and the entire Armenian nation in aix en province France. The concert was accompanied by speeches that touched on the most important issues of Armenian history and current challenges. In particular, the years of 1894-1923 were discussed. The genocide of the Armenians of Western Armenia, which was coordinated by three successive Turkish governments. The continuation of this strategy is still going on in 2023 when Azerbaijan is conducting a genocidal policy against the Armenians of Artsakh. Among the speakers were Senator Brigitte Deveza and Vartan Simonian, who hosted the famous historian Vincent Duclair to the proffer of the book Armenia, Endless Genocide and the Dying World. They addressed the question of what future awaits the Armenian nation and the generation of genocide survivors. The President of National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, participated in discussion who represents the interests of the Armenians of Western Armenia at the United Nations. In the Armenian highlands, the worship of the goddess Nane was widespread. Nane is considered the goddess who embodies the protection of the family, wisdom and common sense. Nane can also be compared to the eldest grandmother of Armenian families who preserves and protects the family due to her wisdom and common sense she has acquired over the years. In the Armenian tradition, Nane is the idol that every woman strives to be like during her life. Our wise ancestors created the idols with which they educated, brought up and united the nation through the qualities that characterize Ditsej, it means gods, during the formation of the national creed. As I mentioned, for example, Nane is the idea of a woman, Anahit is the idea of a mother, Aramas is the idol of a father, etc. Tony is one of the symbols of goddess Nane. Before, since it was very difficult to start a new fire every time, it was necessary to keep the fire in the house unextinguished, and this was considered a woman's duty. Pomegranada is also one of the symbols of goddess Nane. Glory to goddess Nane. Glory to our grandmothers, mothers, and wives. Gaigin the second Supreme Patriarch and Catholicus of all Armenians with the blessing on the occasion of the consecration ceremonies of Holy Muran and the Mother Cathedral. The delegations and representatives of the Christian churches and inter-church structures that arrived in Armenia, the bishops in charge of the Mother See, the diocesan leaders of the Armenian Church visited the Tzerna Gabert Memorial Complex. After placing a ref in front of the memorial of the genocide, the congregant of the Mother See, His Grace Vigen Archbishop Haikazian, the intercession of the Holy Matrix of the genocide against the Armenians was performed. The water tap is the water of the Tsav River in the village of Nerkinhans, unique region. People have to use it in the kitchen for children, etc. Since 2023, September 14, Baku has ceased drinking water sources in the Nerkinhans region of Armenia, causing criminal damage to people. 
Every year, this year also, the International Rounding Award was presented. The event was broadcast from the website and social platforms of the Rounding Foundation. This year's awards were given to individuals and organizations who were active in the field of women's rights. The winners of the award were the Moore Chad Women's Shelter Foundation, one of the longest-running women's empowerment organizations in Western Armenia, and Rugiatu Nene Turni from Sierra Leone, who bravely fights against female genital mutilations. The award is given to individuals, groups, or organizations that promote the ideas of peace, justice, and freedom in the face of racism, discrimination, and violence. The name Ak Tamar is of Armenian origin is associated with Queen Tamar, who was the wife of King Kagik Artzuni. Tamar was the daughter of Shapu, son of Ashot A of Bagratuni, and is mentioned in historical sources as one of the important women of the time. The oldest record of the name Ak Tamar is found at the beginning of the 5th century in the history of Armenians by Pavstos Buzant. It is mentioned here that the island named Ak Tamar played an important role in the strategic and political events of those times. The Holy Cross Church of Ak Tamar was built in the 10th century by the initiative of Gagik Artsruni. At that time, the island became the center of power of the Artsrunis of Vasburakan. The church is known for its beautiful architecture and historical importance. In the 1918s, in Turkey occupied Western Armenia. Atamar was renamed Akdamar, which is a portamento of Armenian heritage. Today, Akdamar is an integral part of the history and culture of the Armenian people. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.